All right, back again this evening. So uh, I tried to get that, like I was saying, um, I tried to have that mark one over this way, but just that one tooth moving over, man, it loosened up that slack so much that it was almost too loose. So where I had it before was perfect. So that's why the, uh, I guess the factory manual wants you to take out the idler pulley and then put it back. Now, the way I did that here is I used my 17 millimeter socket to move the cam over one tooth. It's not enough, hopefully, to do any kind of damage internally, but just enough to where I can get it back, get it on there, get the belt on there, and then turn it back. And I've seen a couple of people do this um, either on the crank or on the cams. So this is the only way to get it on there without messing up but be careful using socket or hands to rotate the cams because sometimes it can cause it to really move a lot so you got to be very careful doing this this way and let's see how the um, timing is I'm gonna get this belt back up and tension it and uh, let's see how it looks all right I got the belt on there all tensioned up like it was before and I spun the motor around uh, about eight times uh, down at the crank. That's about four times up here. And uh, all the marks are lined up pretty good. That's the top one. That's the rear. And then, but it's lined up pretty good. So lesson learned, I did it right the first time and the belt is supposed to be very tight um, and uh, I guess hearing a little bit of whine on a new belt is normal because the belt is supposed to be nice and tight. So enjoy the new belt boys and uh, you know take it easy. <laughs>